Hello everyone, welcome to Elite Engineer. In this video, we are going to see the perturbed and observe maximum power point tracking technique that is applied to the SEPIC converter. In the previous videos, we have already seen that how it is applied to the buck converter, to the boost converter, and in this video, we are going to see how it is applied to the SEPIC converter. You know that we mostly use buck boost, buck boost, but we mostly neglect the SEPIC and Zeta converters. But these converters are one of the most important converters. Although it increases the number of component counts like inductor or capacitor we can call, but they are much more better as compared to bug boost and bug boost. You can find various literatures that proves this. Hence, I'm just going to demonstrate you the perturb and observe maximum power point tracking technique using uh, that is implemented in SEPIC converter. So, uh, as I already explained in the previous videos also, I have one solar P panels that is basically generating my maximum uh, power of 301.28, uh, 9 to 8. So I, uh, this is the same plot, which I'll just plot. All the solar PV array I have taken with the same configuration, like at 25 degree, I will get 301.928. If you've not seen my previous video of the bug and boost converter, you can just see that videos. Now what happened here is, this output of solar P panel will be fed to the SEPIC converter. If I open the SEPIC converter, I have this output as, uh, this is a solar P panel connected here. This is a input voltage and input current for the SEPIC converter. And this is a input capacitor. This is a inductor. This is one switch. This is again a capacitor, inductor, diode, and again output capacitor. All the calculations you can f uh, find from some uh, your uh, reference book and uh, I have also used uh, some reference book for the calculation of inductor and capacitor values. Now the output of uh, this SEPIC converter will be fed to the resistive load because in this case I am just demonstrating with my resistive load how it is operation or uh, operating. Now uh, if I want to utilize this uh, for maximum power point tracking technique like if I want to give the pulses like this pulse from maximum power point tracking what I have to do is I have to take this input for solar PV panel that is VPV, IPV and I want to feed this in perturb and observe maximum power point tracking. Similarly, like previous case, I have taken here the initial duty as 0.5 and the maximum it can go up to 0.9 and D minimum is 0.2 and delta D, the variation with which it will increase or decrease that is up to uh, 0 0.01 means it will increase 0 0.01 it will decrease 0.01 when it will decrease when it will reach the maximum power point because that's what it is when it tries to reach at maximum power point when it reaches the maximum power point it oscillates at that point means it will increase it will decrease increase and decrease Be that's why i have taken it at 0.01 right uh yeah and then it will generate some duty and that duty will be fed to the zero order hold and then it will be fed to the pwm pulse generator it will generate the pulse for the sepic converter and it's very easy configuration. So this is working like my previous other converters. I'll just compile it. Let's see how it is working. Yeah, I already told you I love to see the transients part also. So let's open this and just see the transients also. See, it is going in, it, it is the transient state and this is a power which is I'm getting, this is a voltage and this is a current. It is increasing. It's still increasing yeah it has reached a steady state so basically what we can do here is we can compare with different types of converters like bug boost bug boost sepic and zeta we can compare perturb and observe and we can just check uh, which one is reaching the steady state at faster pace that is what we can do research in this field also that's all uh, from my side uh, for sepic converter if you want the simulations you can just click uh, the link that is given in the description below for downloading this uh, MATLAB simulation file which is designed in 2018 version. Thank you for watching this video. Hope to see you in the next video.